Hello, I am Gian Pietro Lavado, co-founder and Telco Cloud Architect at Whitestack. In this presentation, I'll talk about the experience of taking Etsy NFV standards to the field with open source Mano as an NFV orchestrator and generic VNF manager. So we are going to review three topics, starting with the advancements of open source Mano in Etsy NFV standards adoption followed by our experience at Etsy NFB plug tests representing the OSM community. And finally, the experiences we've had with a commercial distribution of open source Mano in production environments. Overall, and as you can see in the diagram, at Etsy open source Mano, we are adopting five sole standard implementations at different levels. The sole two interface is expected to manage some of the network function operators in a restful way, including metrics, configuration, but also giving some control to the network function over its own life cycle. In this interface, which we have decided to implement partially, we have a progress of 50%. Then we have Sol5, which exposes a northbound RESTful interface to OSS BSS systems. We have all main lifecycle endpoints implemented, which represent more than 40% progress and also some extensions that are particular to the OSM implementation. Regarding how network functions are modeled, we recently adopted SOL6, which is the standard Yang-based descriptor model with a complete implementation. Regarding network service and network function packaging, we have completed the work towards a full adoption in the next release of Open Source Mano. And finally, for make applications lifecycle management, we do think there is an opportunity to provide value, which we are actively exploring. Now, I'm going to show some extra details about each implementation. In SOL2, and given that we implement a generic DNF manager, the open source Mano community decided to start with endpoints where OSM is a client, which we also think are the most relevant for operators. These are the ones related to network functions indicators collection and with network functions configurations. We think these two represent the biggest values on top of basic BNF lifecycle, because basic lifecycle can also be achieved with generic for post orchestrators. Regarding the endpoints where OSM has to delegate and give visibility of the network function lifecycle to the function itself, we have not seen practical needs at that field. So there is no priority today on implementing them. In the configuration interface, we decided to have the flexibility to configure the network function through SOL2 calls, but also using some other popular methods like netconf, ansible, CLI, or other REST APIs. And in the indicators interface, we also decided to be flexible and support SOL2, which is work in progress, but also SNMP and other popular mechanisms. In SOL5, the main endpoints have been fully compliant since about three years ago. And the progress since then has been following the priorities of operators in the field. So today we are getting near to 50% implementation. And for the next release, we will have the main endpoints covered in the five types of interfaces available in the standards. As mentioned earlier, we also decided to implement some extensions, which mainly have to do with the way we implement physical network functions and network function configuration for day two operations. Regarding SOL6, today OSM understands the full SOL6 model in version 271 and implements most of them in actual features, again, following field based priorities. In the upcoming release, we will support the modifications introduced up to SOL6 version 331. We are also proposing some augments to the NFB IFA working group related to networking, alarms, enhanced platform awareness, and scaling. For SOL4 and SOL7, we did not see any problem in implementing the full specification, which will be available in the next OSM release. 
As you can see here, these standards relate to the package structure, specifically files and directories. Finally, regarding the opportunities to integrate with Etsy MEC standards to manage the life cycle of MEC applications, we see that OSM can add value in some of the interfaces, which have to do with the general life cycle and configuration of both MEC platforms and apps. But there is still work to be done, mostly in integration with a MEC orchestrator, which implements functions that OSM may eventually absorb. Now I'm going to talk briefly about our experience in the recent flag tests event. First of all, I will highlight the Sol 5 automated testing we went through. Uh, this is where most of the testing time was invested. The tool that was provided by Etsy plug test team proved to be very useful for checking where we really stand in our Sol 5 implementation and also the opportunities for improving our conformance. The other activity we run was a special Sol 6 track with NF providers where we help them translate their old descriptors based in open source Manos original model to a fully standard Sol 6 based model using a tool that we made available at the open source Mano command line interface. Finally, let me share some experiences taking open source Mano to a production environment. At Whitestack, we have a distribution of OSM called WideNFB. It was deployed in Telefonica Chile at the end of 2020. The use case is to provide multi-vendor network function orchestrator on top of an open stack and a Kubernetes environment that is controlled by them as operators. The current status of this deployment highlights the following points. It is based on open source MANO release eight which we call WhiteNFB Denver, and it's migrating to OSM release nine, which we call WhiteNFB Eureka in the upcoming weeks. Network functions based on virtual machines are already onboarded and deployed, and containerized network functions are at trial stage, with the first one available for production during the present quarter. This is a single site deployment but with local redundancy supported on top of a three machine Kubernetes cluster. We can also share that at least three additional deployments of open source Mano will go to production this year in different operators. So based on these deployments, preceding proof of concepts and Etsy NFV plug tests, we have detected a couple of challenges that put the NFV standards adoption at some level of risk. First, we think there is insufficient coverage of network function operations, one of the biggest values of NFV orchestration, as perceived by the field, is the ability to automatically initialize and configure a set of network functions that conform a service, but the standards only present a single endpoint, which is optional. That is why we put a lot of focus on this part in open source Mano, and we are proposing this to Etsy NFB IFA group. The other risk we see is that in the field, we still see a lot of vertical deployments and the biggest network function vendors actively promoting them as a better option to a more horizontal standards-based implementation. Even though this might be difficult to solve, we think that network function vendors should at least ensure they are open to integrating to other vendors through its NFV standards, because some operators still think this is not possible with the largest network function providers. Well, thanks for your attention, and I invite you to send your questions out.